this is a jerry can. It can be spelled J-E-R-R-Y or G-E-R-R-Y. You'd think that you'd carry gasoline around this, but this particular one got a bunch of pebbles and vinegar in it. <laughs> pebbles and vinegar thing, what are you going to do? The vinegar actually does work at getting the small rust out of there. And those little pebbles, every now and again when I walk by it in the garage, just give it a shake and rattle them down. I've seen some guys clean those out with some crazy stuff, including strapping it with pebbles to a cement mixer and rolling it and rolling it and rolling it around. So the vinegar thing, that's probably not the <laughs> strangest thing I ever did. All right, here we are at the Team G503 studio again in Charleston, South Carolina. And we're gonna go out back today and we're gonna do some more of the bolt-ons. Last video I did was on the footman loops. And that one, I, I thought when I made that, you know, footman loops, how can you get so excited about footman loops? But it is pretty exciting. A lot of people seem to like that. So here we go again. This time we'll be doing the jerry can uh, carrier and the strap that goes along with that. Maybe some other things too, check it out. On the back side of the tub, it's the driver's side, you'll notice these holes here in this plate that's actually welded to the rear panel of the Jeep. That's to reinforce where the jerry can will go. And these top four smaller holes are where the strap bracket will go. I've purchased four new 3 8 by 16 by inch long bolts and I've removed the markings off the head with a grinder as I showed you in previous videos how we do that. We don't leave the modern markings on there, it just looks a whole lot better. And I've got my jerry can bracket, A4123, and it's been all primed up and painted uh, months ago, actually, and I've kept it in a box. It's easiest for me to insert two of the bolts in the top two holes, and that way we can put that right on the Jeep, and those will hold it in place while we fasten it. So I'll just slide these two in the top two holes. It goes in pretty easily. They fit really, really nice. Now, these bolts that I bought are an inch long. They're supposed to be 3 8 by 16 and 3 quarters. That's what the manual, the master parts manual says. So I will have to trim those down in the future. I'll go ahead here on the back and I'll just install by hand, uh, just hand tight a lock washer and the 3 quarter inch nut. And then we've got a little tricky one there that's the one that's the furthest. I'd call it at uh, 11 o'clock. That one is a little tricky because it's behind another bracket in the inside of the tub. And I'll move the camera back there and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Before I do that, however, let me show you the fasteners I bought. These are grade 8 also. I bought just a regular 3 8 inch split lock washer and the coinciding nut. And I use the grade 8 stuff because it's just a, it seems to be a little bit tougher and I, you are going to put some weight of the jerry can with gas on this bracket. So just figured I'd go ahead with the grade 8 stuff, make sure it's all nice and secure. I'll go ahead and install one of the lock washers and one of the nuts in the back here so I can move the camera and I can show you the toughest little bolt and nut that you got to put on this whole project. There's a brace on the tub right where that bolt comes through the back side of the tub as you can see here. And I've got this bolt all the way inserted so what I'm going to do is slide it out about halfway so just a little bit of it's poking through just enough to hang the lock washer on and then I'll just hang the lock washer on that and you can get your hand in there pretty easily as such and then you can get the nut started just by your finger. It is possible to do without a wrench and once you get that started you can get a wrench inside there to actually tighten the bolt. Go back on the outside of the tub here and I'll go ahead and insert the last two bolts into the bottom holes. I only hand tight all the bolts until I've got them all in just in case I have to move the bracket around just a little bit to line up the holes. It just makes it easier. If you tightened one of the bolts you might have a little difficulty sliding it back and forth. Once you get all four bolts in you can go on the back side and install the rest of your lock washers and nuts. Proceed with a box end open end wrench and a socket and a ratchet, 916s as well, and go ahead and tighten those fasteners up on all four of the bolts. You want to make sure these bolts are tight because once again, there is a pretty decent amount of weight with a full jerry can of gasoline and you want your bracket to be secure. We'll move on here to the smaller of the two brackets, the actual strap bracket, and that goes in the four holes that are smaller. That's right above your jerry can holder. The strap bracket is part number A4130, and this is a reproduction from Ron Fitzpatrick G Parts, but it's exact, and the holes line up with the factory holes that are on the tub perfectly. The four new bolts that I purchased are quarter 20 by 3 quarters of an inch. The manual calls for them as quarter 20 by 5 8. So these are just a little bit long. Again, I've ground the heads off and I've got the lock washers and co-siding nuts. When I'm all done installing these bolts, I will go back on the back side and cut them off to be the correct length with a Dremel tool. I'm going to insert the two 
top bolts just as we did in the lower. It's just easy that way for me. And push it right through the holes. And then we can go on the line up the holes on the bottom. See how perfectly that lines up? Reproduction parts are not all the same. And you really want to make sure you buy quality stuff so it fits. I'll go ahead and put the uh, lower two bolts in here. This is pretty simple and basic. This bracket just holds the strap that actually ties or holds down your jerry can to the lower bracket. We'll go on the back side here and I'll show you where the bolts protrude through the inside of the tub. It's pretty straightforward and again you just use a lock washer first then the nut and I'm using a 7 16 box and open end wrench and a 7 16 inch socket set as well. I'll use the wrench from the back side here to hold these nuts and then I'll tighten the bolts from the front with the ratchet. Back through here one more time, make sure everything's all nice and snug and tight, and then that top bracket will be installed. Now the strap will actually come up through the bottom of the jerry can holder, the large one, and go through the small one at the top, and that's what holds the jerry can into the place. We'll do a video in the future and show how those straps go. I'm going to dust up and clean up a little bit here because I've been painting my bolts. I, I live in the southeastern United States, and the condensation, the heat, and the cold here causes rust overnight immediately, so I'm going to go ahead and prime. And then I also was asked, recently how well the rattle cans that Ron Fitzpatrick sells matches the paint out of the gallons. Before I show you that I'm going to use my Barrier 3 Red Oxide Primer. I love this primer. It's fast dry. It just absolutely adheres well. It is fantastic. You need to try this if you have not yet. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give each bolt a little shot from each direction. Just make sure I cover the bolts. And I'll do that twice so I make sure I get some good coverage on there. And then I'll go over it after it dries. And it dries quickly. I'll go over it with the top coat. My plan from the beginning with the tub was to do all the repairs and then paint everything two times with uh, red oxide primer and then two coats of the OD green. And then after I got all my bolts and accessories bolted on, go back, scuff everything, and then apply one last top coat of OD green. So I've got these all primed up here, ready to go. And I'm going to get my Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts 33070 World War II Low Luster Olive Drab. And I mind you now, I've painted these all at separate times with separate cans. I did paint the tub out of a gallon, but I did get asked how well the stuff in the rattle cans matches the stuff that comes out of the gallons, and the answer is it matches it wonderfully. Uh, these paint products, both the primer and the top coat, are available in gallon sizes and in spray can sizes, and having the spray can around is just, it's really convenient, and you can do things exactly what I'm doing right here without worrying about the paint matching color, because it absolutely does. It's great stuff. We're starting to dry down here now after two coats, and you can see it's still a little wet, but it blends in beautifully. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts paint line, and if you have not tried those yet, I would highly recommend that you do it, and you will not be sorry about it. We've dried down here about a half an hour, and you can see it blends in perfectly. The finish is great, and the color is perfect. That wraps up our jerry can holder and strap holder video. The back end here of the 43 Willis MB is starting to really look nice. Let's go back in the shop. Now when my jerry can is all cleaned up and all the rust is out of it, then I got a place to put it and we can go down the road and my range will be a little bit better because I have an extra five gallons of gas to put on the back of the Jeep. I need one of those fillers though. I'm looking for one of those World War II filler tubes. I don't want to hear the smart comment on what the guys in the GIs call them. It's ridiculous, but I need a filler tube for the jerry can. I'm sure I can find one of those. If you'd like to follow along with what we're doing the 1943 Willis MB, you can do so by subscribing. Got a lot of new subscribers lately, and I think that's awesome. And thank you very much for the support. And you can hit that little bell down there so when I post the next video, you will get a notification. All right, my friends, until next time, keep it safe. Happy Jeeping.